And we are joined now, happy to be joined now by General Manager Charles Head of this beautiful luxury resort. Thank you so much for first having us and then joining us on the show. We appreciate it. Aloha, John. Thanks for being here. It's wonderful to have you with us. It is such a great place. And, and one of the things that makes it so great are you have some pretty awesome employees. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the workers here? Because the doors opened here in 1990 and you've had some great people here. We are uh, truly blessed with, uh, with amazing employees, and uh, it's a, uh, there's a tremendous amount of pride in the property. Um, a lot of people that have been here um, many, many years, some since day one when the property opened or before it opened. And, um, you know, they have a, a tremendous spirit of aloha. They've never, uh, never lost that, and it's, uh, it's amazing over the years to see them uh, the relationships that they develop with our regular guests that come back time after time mm -hmm. after time, and it almost becomes multi generational and like families, you know. So uh, they really inspire me every day. It is such a beautiful place, uh, and so I can see why they would come back over and over again. You have a very strong culture uh, here that has emerged at the Fairmont Orchid. Can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the important values behind what goes on here? Really, I would. Uh, I would distill it down to two key values that we have as an organization. One is uh, about being Pono and doing the right thing. I think this is more important today than it, uh, it ever has been in, in the past. It's mm -hmm. even more of a priority. Um, and uh, you know, that's really about uh, ensuring sort of the, the safety, the security, uh, the well-being of our, of our employees, our community, our guests. Um, the second component really comes down to uh, what we would call ho keeper, and that uh, spirit of hospitality and welcoming people like you're welcoming them to your own home, and um, you know delivering that gold standard of service that uh, that people expect when they're coming to a luxury resort. In in your opinion, then, how do those values kind of set this place apart from others? Well, you know, I think that. Uh, Ultimately, what sets the, ho the hotel and the resort apart, I think, is the people. And, you know, to me, this was made very, very evident, um, you know, over the last year where we were not operating. And uh, um, a hotel can be a bit of a soulless place. It's a building. But when you have people there and employees and guests, it becomes much more uh, vibrant and dynamic. And, um, you know, it's the... Um, as beautiful as many hotels are, it's, it's the people, the employees, doing something special for a guest that ultimately makes the difference. That's what, that's what creates memories for our guests. It's not the physical hotel. It's all about the people. So, um, you know, we're really uh, very blessed uh, to have uh, employees that embrace that every day. You know, uh, you talked about making it special for guests. Y you do another thing here. Uh, you kind of teach the guests about about the culture, about Hawaii. How do you do that? How do you connect them to Hawaii Island? Yeah, that's really important to us, and it, it has a, a long-standing priority at, uh, at the Fairmont Orchid. Um, you know, I think today's visitor wants to experience things, and they want to learn things more. It's more than just about coming to a, a beautiful beach or a beautiful destination. They want to take something away about the culture. and. Um, we do that in all areas of our operation, whether it's food and beverage or recreation or the spa. But uh, we have a couple of key, um, key areas that really prioritize this, uh, one of which is our, uh, our beach ambassadors, Hui Holokai, that uh, are lead guided hikes. They, uh, they take care of ocean activities. Um, um, they, um, you know, introduce people to the petroglyphs, that sort of thing. And then we have our director of uh, Hawaiian culture, uh, Kailani Blankenfeld, who uh, uh, oversees programming as far as uh, hula lessons, nice. uh, um, ukulele lessons, uh, weaving, loves to talk story. She's, uh, she's a wonderful ambassador for the property. You know, the, all of that sounds so amazing, and I've got to experience a, a lot of what you've talked about. Um, I've got to ask you, my final question to you, any special offers for folks that want to come down and enjoy this beautiful place? 
Well, thanks, John. And, and we uh, just celebrated our 30th anniversary uh, of opening the resort. And uh, one of the things is the strong history here is sustainability. So we decided to partner with the uh, Waikoloa Dry Forest here in the area. And uh, we have a special offer that is on uh, FairmontOrchid.com. And that uh, involves for every uh, stay, every uh, package purchased, uh, we will plant a tree up in the Waikoloa Dry Forest. And uh, we're really excited about that partnership and, again, doing something good for the community. And, of course, uh, we will connect everybody that wants to uh, to your website via our website on k2n2.com. Charles, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for being here.